Well, good afternoon and welcome once again to Ed's Workers. Now I'm in the uh, the cold greenhouse here, this 8B61. Uh, and I'm just looking now at the cymbidiums. Uh, they've done absolutely nothing. There's no new growth on or uh, anything. And they've been like that now for what? Well, they flowered last year, but uh, they haven't grown since then. So I think it's the time of year when repots are necessary. And uh, which one am I going to do? I don't know. I mean, they're all looking very nice. They've got some nice new uh, growths on them. And there's a big plant over there. I will think I'll take that one there and uh, repot that one. Well, I brought it in here to repot it. And this one here, I've just been taking some still pictures of it uh, for our society. So I'm going to put this at one side now and uh, unpot this one. Well, this is the only uh, Cymbidium I've got with a name on it. And it's called Cymbidium Loeanum Desert Peach. So uh, I'll make sure I won't lose that one. And then we'll take this one out of its pot. This hasn't been unpotted for at least, I would say, two and a half, three years, something like that. But I'm expecting it to be one mass of roots and not much else. Well, one or two spiders in here, but never mind. Ooh. How do we get this out of the pot? This is going to be such a problem. I don't think there's uh, a lot of uh, compost in here now. I think it's all mainly roots. Oh dear. No, I can't move it yet. Just shows what a struggle these are. There we are, we've got it, and as I said before, I think it's one mass of roots, and we'd better check whether all these roots are living. Well, as you can see there, that's nearly all root, but what I'll do now, I'll uh, I'll just try and uh, get all the old uh, all compost off it and uh, and then we'll take it from there but I won't do that on uh, on video because uh, you've seen it done often enough well as you can see I've now got it out of its pot and the roots are uh, just as they should be on a cymbidium nothing special about them and nothing uh, untoward about them so they're just doing doing right there's a little pseudobulb there that needs taking off and uh, the thing is, the stuff that came out of the compost, it's more like powder. Very, very small. So what's happened, I don't think I've been feeding the plant enough on uh, nitrogen. Because uh, the amount of nitrogen that I, I have been putting in, looks like it's been taken up by the cellulose on the bark. And uh, the bark needs the nitrogen so it can break down. So I think in future uh, more nitrogen is called for. Anyhow, I'll trim this one up 
and uh, get the bad leaves off, get the bad roots off what there are. I mean, I've had to cut a few to get the uh, to get the bark out of the roots, and uh, I'll take the uh, pseudobulb off there and give it a general clean up before I repot it. Well, that's been one heck of a job, and I must have been doing it for about an hour, and these are the roots that I've cut off. All soft. Not soft and squelchy, but soft enough that when you cut them, inside is not like it should be. So, uh, I'll empty this tray and I'll get rid of all this uh, rubbish and uh, we'll get ready for repotting. Well, that's what's left of the root section after cleaning it all up and all, every root there seems uh, absolutely perfect and uh, the plant's looking really nice now. I've left this uh, suitable one because it's showing green at the top. I've just put a bit of uh, dragon's blood on it and the plant itself is looking very, very nice. So uh, what we'll do, we'll get this potted up in this. It's all new stuff. It's uh, medium bark, some bark that's just a little bit bigger, as you can see, and uh, perlite. Well, I think we should put this in the same pot. It, uh, it fits very nicely. Quite comfortably now I've removed all that. And uh, I don't know which way to Well, it doesn't flower, so I'll leave it like it is there. This will take quite a bit of filling up. And I'll not water it today, I'll give it a couple of days dry to let the use get, let the roots get used to being chopped up a little bit. easy to do this you know in, in video to get it all right because there's a lot of filling up of gaps to do I'm trying to keep it nice and uh, nice and straight in the pot so it'll grow nicely Into it. I'll just uh, fill it all right up now and then give it a good shaking. You can see it's, it's taking it all in as well. Not quite filling up yet, it's still going down. After I've done this, I won't like to do another ten. Oh. Yeah, well that's full right to the top now, so that's about right. So after all that hard work, I'm quite pleased with that one because it's looking quite nice now. mustn't forget to put the label back in. It's quite a tall plant as well. And uh, if it's a name one, if I've got the right one up, it's very, very nice when it comes up. A nice uh, yellowy peachy colour. Absolutely beautiful. So let's hope that comes up next year. Well, I'm back in the small greenhouse now and uh, I've put the plant back, that's the one, the end one that I've just done. And this room really needs uh, cleaning out. I'm using it as a storage room actually for boxes because you never know when you, when you need boxes here. And also I'm waiting for the weather to be coming a bit warmer than I can use those. But it's only uh, symbiums today I can show you. So thank you very much for watching.
Thanks to all my subscribers and until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.